Hi, my name is Nikima Prophet. I'm a developer advocate at PayPal. In this video series, we'll take a look at the new features of our redesigned developer dashboard. In this first video, let's take a look at the dashboard homepage. In the following videos, we'll take a closer look at the different sections and tools. On the homepage of the dashboard, to the right of Welcome to the PayPal Developer, there's a drop down menu that shows what application we're viewing and the date range of the information. It goes anywhere from the last hour to the last 14 days. We're looking at the default application on my account. I also have another sample app that I could switch to, but there's more to see on my default application, so let's go back to that. The next thing you'll see is the onboarding banner that will walk you through different PayPal integrations. This banner has its own video where we'll step through a standard checkout integration. When you close out of the banner, you'll see a count of any errors found within the date range selected. You can click this link to view the error logs, or you can dismiss. Next on the dashboard are a row of icons with links directly to docs, tools, and credentials you're likely to need in your integrations. The links are to API credentials, sandbox accounts, API calls, dev docs, webhooks events, webhook simulator, and the credit card generator. Next up, there's a table that shows the five most recent error logs. Each log shows the date and time of the error, the status code, and a debug ID, which is linked to the details of the error, including the request and response, the event type, and the description of the error. The last section of the homepage is the monitoring section, which shows successful API calls and errors and the API error distribution. In my case, each of the seven errors happened using the post request method. This has been a quick overview of the new dashboard features. Check out the rest of the videos in the series for a more in-depth look.